This is the Sunday Business Page on KDKA-TV. And a very good morning to you. Thanks for spending part of your Sunday morning with us. Cleanliness is not only next to godliness, it's also great business. And mobility capability makes the delivery of that cleanliness even more effective. A company called Brozone, started by a licensed pharmacist and a licensed local athletic trainer, help school districts make sure that their athletic equipment is sanitized to prevent the growth of bacteria, infection, and illness. We're so happy to welcome Adam Rice and Mark Rice, founders of Brozone, to the Sunday Business page to tell us about their very unusual business. Gentlemen, welcome to the show. It's good to have you here. Thank you, John. Thank you. you know, let's start with you, Mark, because you're in these locker rooms a lot as an athletic trainer, and you've worked at both the collegiate level and the high school level. How dirty are locker rooms? It's really, it's something that school districts and parents, uh, more often than not, don't really think about. They send their right. kids to practice, and especially when football season gets going, they start camp, they start wearing the pads in August, they wear them for hours on end, day after day, for months at a time, and it, the bacteria starts to grow and it starts to smell and it really becomes an issue that nobody's talking about and that's what led Adam and I to form this uh, company. You know, it is an issue that comes up periodically when we hear reports about staff infection and MRSA out of, out of the locker rooms, both at the high school and college level. And the odors, there's no question about the bad odors. I mean, any of us, anyone who's played sports knows that you're going to sweat and that's going to be a problem. As a pharmacist, Adam, should we worry when something stinks? Well, absolutely. I mean, the, the, the odor that you're smelling is, uh, is from the germs respiring. Uh, and also with uh, antibiotics resistance these days, uh, there's less and less tools in the doctor's uh, you know, toolbox to, right. to fight infection. So if we, can, if we can prevent infection initially, then we don't have to worry about treating it. So you guys have come up with really something I think is pretty innovative. It's a mobile van in which uh, you can go to different high schools, for example, or colleges, and you can just take the equipment out of the locker room, put it into the van, and you kind of zap it. What's the technology that's involved in that? Uh, well, we, util we utilize ozone gas, which in essence, uh, in layman's term, does sort of zap the bacteria and germs. It doesn't matter what it is, bacteria, mold, fungus, Right. Yeast, any of, the, any of those microbes will be killed by the ozone gas. It's self-contained. Uh, it breaks down to pure oxygen when, when it's done being used, so it's safe. Kids, it's dry. The kids can put on their equipment minutes after it's been treated and know that they're, you know, they're putting on sanitized equipment. And is it affordable, Mark? Can school districts afford to do this kind of treatment? Absolutely. Uh, the price point that we have circled around to all these schools with is $10 Per player for their helmet and shoulder pads. We were at a couple schools this week uh, earlier and we did 60 sets at each school. So each school uh, rough total about $600 to treat all their helmets and shoulder pads. Well for the, uh, the, the likelihood of eliminating staph infections and skin conditions and the like that doesn't sound like a lot of money. But how long does this cleansing activity, how long will it last in a locker room? So really, that comes down to personal hygiene. Yes. That comes down to uh, you know, showering after practice, uh, taking your undergarments home, in the case of football, like football girdles, uh, T-shirts that you're wearing underneath the pads and pants, making sure that those things are washed, washing your practice pants consistently. Uh, if the kids are actually showering at school, rotating in a fresh towel every so many days so it's just not sitting there and stagnating in the right. locker room. And if you can have a secondary set of undergarments, be an extra t-shirt, a second girdle that you can rotate in while the dirty one is at home getting washed, then you're on this cycle where you can really improve the longevity of the treatment. Our, our results, as far as italki equipment is showing us, that our return customers will circle back around anywhere between three to four months for a second, uh, second treatment. Right. But the key, again, I, th I love the focus on personal hygiene because I've talked to a number of trainers who report to me, and maybe you can speak from personal experience, that our young athletes in high school in particular are not taking showers. That, Is that true? That's correct. I had 
circled around to probably 25 or 30 different high schools here in the area. Uh, this summer prior to camp starting, uh, I, as an athletic trainer, I went right to my colleagues to show them what this was all about. And they really wrapped their heads around it. They really liked it. Uh, and bar none, to a man or to a woman, they would tell me their biggest issue is routine hygiene, that the kids are coming, home, uh, coming back from practice, coming off the practice field, stuffing their, their wet undergarments back into the locker, not showering, and then they're running right out the door. Yeah, and not having those uh, undergarments cleaned. Uh, and all of this really breeds, I think, uh, Adam, the kinds of diseases that are serious. I mean, staph infection, MRSA, can be a very, very, uh, maybe even a deadly disease in some cases. Certainly, but we're, we are definitely seeing professional athletes with their careers being cut short. Uh, I mean, there, there are any number of NFL players and NHL players that have suffered this. Uh, so it, it, it's something not to be uh, taken lightly. And it's also something where there, there needs to be a change of culture and a change of the guard and mindset because we, we run into folks, uh, you know, we didn't, we didn't need this when we were playing. Right. You know, and so. Yeah, and I'm sure that's what a lot of, a lot of folks would say. We didn't do this. But, I, you right. know, I think a different generation did shower. I, mean, I, I, <laughs> I, I find that very disturbing, to say the least. Um, the process itself, you say you use ozone in this contained truck. So you zap it with a with ozone is that essentially what you use and what does that do it just kills the microbes so yeah we have an industrial grade ozone generator and essentially it pulls in the oxygen that you breathe concentrates it puts it through an electrical reaction to create create o3 uh, and it's that third oxygen atom that when it hits the cell wall of the bacteria it's almost like a pin popping a balloon so it mechanically destroys the bacteria yeah. versus chemically destroying it, which is essentially what antibiotics do. And through that chemical reaction with, with the antibiotics, the bacteria evolve and they're able to defend against it, rendering the antibiotics less effective. So we have a mechanical process through ozone, right. which doesn't allow the bacteria to mutate. Well, you know, this is an absolutely fascinating product that you've put together, and certainly the van, the ability to go to high school to high school or, or colleges, for that matter, to, to help them keep our kids safe and clean. Congratulations to both of you. Nice thank to have you, Adam and Mark. Thank John, you. John, thank you very much. Good luck in this process. Absolutely. Nice to have you with thank us. Thank you. When the Sunday Business Page continues, how a newly patented technology can help change the game.